This video is the bench testing of the Key Easy 4017 Chaser. I went ahead and uh, I assembled all this, and what I got here is the Arduino Pro Mini. And this is the uh, 232 uh, serial modular that connects the Arduino back to the computer USB port. Uh, this is the scan LED that was talked about earlier. And of course this is the uh, 4017 Chaser prototype. And I got a push button connected already too, so we'll get started here. Alright, um, I just want to go over this real quick. Uh, this is what the keypad 40 will look like once it's built. That's going to be the next steps coming up. There's going to be a 16 pin header on it. This 16 pin header is going to mate with the 16 pin header uh, that's on the uh, 4017 chaser board here. Okay, so the numbers correspond 1 through 16. Okay. Uh, pin 1 right now, which is connected to column 1, is connected to the LED, and which is connected to ground. And ground is pin 16. So that LED is connected right now between pin 1 and pin 16. The push button is connected between pin 2, which is column 2, and pin 9, which is the top row right here. That's the one that references all of the top row buttons. Okay. Get to this template here. Let me just uh, minimize this a little bit to. I want, I want to get this all in here. So we're, we're on the second column, which is uh, addressed as uh, keys 20 through 24 because they correspond to the EEPROM addresses, if you recall from earlier when we did the EEPROM addressing. And then right now, the EEPROM has this table of characters already uh, stored in it. Uh, it's going to be B, H, N, T, and Z corresponding to addresses 20 through 24. Okay. So let me bring up the build here again. And I'm going to bring up the serial monitor, which I already have connected. Okay. So we can see the LED is flashing for the scan. That's a This is a 5 millisecond scan rate per column. So once we get the keypad 40 uh, connected here, it's going to scan the keypad every 40, 40 milliseconds. This is adjustable in the Arduino code. Okay, so right now uh, I'm connected between pin 2 and pin 9 with the push button with these uh, yellow wires. So when I push this push button, we should uh, get a letter character B okay which we do so it's just printing out uh, column 20 which is the second column okay it's it's labeled as 20 it's reading row 1 the EEPROM address of 20 and displaying the character B now I'll move the push button down to pin 9 which is the second row down let me get this done here I don't want to lose track here okay and that should display the character H. Push the button. Okay, there it is. Again, column 20, which is referencing the second column. It's reading row 2, EE prom address of 21, and displaying the character H. Okay, and then we'll move down to pin 11 on the 16 pin header, which should display the character N. And there it is. Again, column 20, second column, reading row 3, third column down, EE prom address of 22, and the character N. So we went through EE prom addresses 20, 21, and 22. I'm going to clear this quick uh, so it, uh, it doesn't get too much on the screen here. Okay. All right. Uh, the next one is pin 12, which is the character T. Okay, and that's the fourth row down. Okay, and there it is. 
again the second column row number four e prom address 23 displaying the character t this gets a space in it here uh that might be in the code that's something i may have to check okay but it doesn't affect the uh performance of the code and we'll do the last uh row which is row five that's going to be pin 13 and that's going to be the character z okay and there it is okay so again the second column reading row 5 ee e prom address 24 displaying the character z okay so that tells me that uh the program is functioning and everything seems to be okay at this end uh if you want you can just move uh to uh it'd be uh, pin 3 which will reference the third column and you can go through all the rows on that column and just keep going down the line if you wish to make sure that your EE prom is programmed properly and it's displaying the right characters before you proceed any further but other than that uh, that's about it for this video and uh, I'll see you on the next build which we're going to be looking at the keypad uh, 40